are we in a housing bubble that some people say? Is it just a very strong market? I mean, what are we seeing in the housing market right now? So personally, I think housing <coughs> prices are overvalued and I think they will remain overvalued for a number of years to come because I think you need to normalise interest rates until you would get house prices back to, you know, if you look at house price to earnings or any of those kind of measures, you know, you look pretty expensive. However, there's a pretty good reason for that is the UK economy is still highly geared to the housing market and nobody can really afford to put rates back up to, you know, call it north of 3% on, on official rates. That's why you get all this rhetoric out of the central bank on, you know, when we raise rates, it will be gradual because we are still a relatively levered economy. So what happens, I mean, just as you're on, on housing, just hear your view. I mean, is housing a, a huge risk? Is it, is it a bubble well, at this point? I think point? there is a bubble in London and some other parts of the southeast. Um, it's not yet nationwide. And I think the, the challenge for the bank is to make sure it doesn't go nationwide. We don't want a nationwide housing bubble because that would mean we'd have to have you know, quite sharp rises in interest mm -hmm. rates. I do think when we talk about um, interest rate rises, we need to recognise that the, the economy comprises borrowers and savers. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, there may be some borrowers who feel a bit squeezed as interest rates go up, but there are a lot of savers who will get uh, quite a bit of relief. Mm. Um, and so I'm not sure that the dramatic impacts that people are suggesting from a rise in interest rates will actually come through. Uh, I'm pretty sceptical of all this talk of housing. I don't know any policymaker on, uh, around the bank who actually thinks there is a housing bubble. I think that they, uh, a lot of the bank's rhetoric is reacting to media hysteria about a housing bubble. But also, I think that it, it seems odd to talk about a housing bubble in the UK context. How, a bubble, to my mind, normally means people speculative buying uh, on, on credit, whereas what's going on in the UK is the opposite of that. What you've got is uh, not, people aren't buying speculatively, they're buying as hedges for a start. Most, you know, a lot of it, foreign money coming in as a hedge. Um, and secondly, a lot of it's cash. And uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not really a debt fueled speculative market that's out there. Um, so, I'm, but I think that you know the the, the, the point is that but the bubbles have to be based the point, on credit. I think the point I mean, is the, that the I think a lot of the house not a credit. What's bubble, happening in house prices? I think a lot of it can be explained by very very low interest sure. rates, and I'm not yeah. sure that yeah. uh, you know. That, I think yeah. trying to trying to find alternative ways to deal with that kind of misses the point. It's yeah. low interest rates. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, the, the bank's financial policy committee is meant to be thinking about ways in which they might rein in the um, availability of borrowing. I think that's the wrong way to go. I mean. These with, are the macroprudential tools. Yeah, macroprudential tools. Yeah. I think if, if interest rates were at a normal level and the economy was sort of growing normally and yet we still had you know, quite frothy housing market, then it would be quite justifiable to use those macroprudential tools. But that's not the situation we've got. We've actually got uh, an economy that's growing quite healthily um, and quite clearly supported, the housing market supported by very low interest rates. And the thing, the obvious thing that needs to be corrected is the level of interest rates. Well, but don't, don't forget, there's also <coughs> government policy that allows people to get effectively a 5% down mortgage, and that has, to, that has to have an impact. And those, those policies will need to be reviewed and uh, possibly reined in. I mean, the, the, the help to buy scheme is relatively generous. Um, it could be more focused. Um, it's difficult to do ahead of, a, ahead of an election yeah. in a year's time.